Welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to explore the world's oceans and learn some fascinating facts that you probably never knew before. From underwater mountains to giant creatures and tiny fish, the ocean is a vast and mysterious place that holds many secrets. So, let's dive in. Did you know that the world's longest mountain range is hidden beneath the ocean's surface? It's called the Mid-Oceanic Ridge, and it spans over 56,000 kilometers, 35,000 miles across the globe. This underwater mountain range is formed by the tectonic plates that make up the Earth's crust, which are constantly shifting and moving. The Mid-Oceanic Ridge is the result of the divergent boundaries between these plates where magma from the Earth's mantle rises to the surface and solidifies, creating new crust. The Mid-Oceanic Ridge is also home to some of the most active volcanic areas on the planet, with around 90% of the world's earthquakes occurring along this ridge. In fact, the volcanic activity along the ridge is so intense that it can create new islands and sea mounts. For example, in 1963, a volcanic eruption along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge created a new island that lasted for a few years before it was eroded away by the ocean. Despite the immense size of the Mid-Oceanic Ridge, it remains one of the least explored areas on the planet. The extreme pressure and darkness of the deep ocean make it a difficult place for humans to explore, and it wasn't until the 1950s that researchers were able to use submersibles to study the ridge up close. One of the most fascinating features of the Mid-Oceanic Ridge is the hydrothermal vents that are found along the ridge. These vents release hot, mineral-rich water that supports unique and thriving communities of organisms. Some of these organisms, like giant tube worms and clams, have adapted to survive in the extreme conditions around the vents which can reach temperatures of over 400 C. The discovery of these vents and the life that they support has expanded our understanding of the types of ecosystems that can exist in the deep ocean. In addition to the hydrothermal vents, the Mid-Oceanic Ridge is also home to a variety of other unique and fascinating geological formations. For example, there are underwater mountains that rise up from the ridge, some of which are taller than Mount Everest, there are also areas of the ridge where the crust is thinner, allowing for magma to rise closer to the surface and creating areas of intense volcanic activity. Overall, the Mid-Oceanic Ridge is an incredible and important feature of the planet that remains largely unexplored. Its geological and biological diversity are essential to our understanding of the Earth's processes and the complex ecosystems that exist in the deep ocean. Did you know that there are underwater lakes and rivers in the ocean? It may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's actually a real phenomenon. One of the most famous examples of an underwater lake is the Black Sea's Lake of Death. This lake is completely isolated from the rest of the ocean and contains highly toxic hydrogen sulfide. So how do these underwater lakes and rivers form? It all comes down to the unique geography of the ocean floor. In some places, the seabed can form depressions or basins that are filled with seawater. These pockets of water can be completely separate from the surrounding seawater and can have their own unique characteristics. One of the most fascinating aspects of these underwater lakes and rivers is the fact that they can contain completely different types of marine life. For example, the Lake of Death in the Black Sea contains no oxygen and is completely inhospitable to most forms of life. However, scientists have discovered that there are actually unique microbial communities that thrive in this toxic environment. These microbes have evolved to use hydrogen sulfide as an energy source, making them some of the most extreme organisms on the planet. But the Lake of Death is not the only example of an underwater lake or river. In fact, there are several other known examples around the world. In the Gulf of Mexico, there is an underwater river that flows along the ocean floor. 
This river is made up of dense, salty water that is separate from the surrounding seawater. Similarly, there are several underwater lakes in the Caribbean that are completely isolated from the rest of the ocean. The study of these underwater lakes and rivers is still a relatively new field, and scientists are constantly discovering new examples and learning more about how they form and function. One of the biggest questions that researchers are trying to answer is how these isolated bodies of water affect the surrounding ocean environment. For example, could they have an impact on ocean currents or the distribution of marine life? Overall, the existence of underwater lakes and rivers is a testament to the incredible diversity of the ocean environment. These isolated pockets of water contain their own unique ecosystems and offer a glimpse into the extreme environments that life on Earth can adapt to. As we continue to explore the ocean depths, it's likely that we'll discover even more examples of these fascinating underwater features. The ocean is a vast and diverse environment that is home to a wide range of organisms. In fact, it contains the world's largest and smallest organisms. At the top of the size spectrum is the blue whale, which can grow up to 30 meters 98 feet in length and weigh as much as 173 tons. This makes the blue whale the largest animal on Earth. It's hard to fathom just how massive these creatures are until you see one up close. At the other end of the size spectrum is the pedocypress fish, which is the smallest fish in the world. These tiny fish can fit on the tip of your finger and measure it at just 7.9 millimeters long. Despite their small size, they are still an important part of the ocean's ecosystem. The ocean's largest and smallest organisms both play important roles in maintaining the health and balance of the ocean's ecosystem. The blue whale, for example, is a keystone species that helps regulate the populations of other marine animals by consuming vast amounts of krill and plankton. These small organisms make up the bulk of the blue whale's diet, and without them, the ocean's food chain could be thrown out of balance. Similarly, the pedocypress fish may be small, but they are still an important food source for larger predators. They are also interesting from a scientific perspective because they have evolved to live in extremely harsh environments. These tiny fish are able to survive in water that is more acidic than vinegar and contains high levels of heavy metals. Despite their vastly different sizes, both the blue whale and the pedocypress fish are examples of the incredible diversity of life that exists in the ocean. As we continue to study and explore the ocean, it's likely that we'll discover even more amazing creatures that push the limits of what we thought was possible. Understanding these organisms and their roles in the ocean's ecosystem is essential if we want to protect this vital and complex environment for future generations.